Yeah. Halfway. Feels pretty awesome to hit the halfway point of the PCT. A um, couple weeks late because <laughs> of the injury and then getting off because of the Sierra, but halfway, man. Woo wee! Chester got a hitch down uh, after only waiting a little bit went and got a big fat subway sandwich uh, Stopped by a Dollar General, which is actually the first Dollar General that I've been to on the trail Which is wild because out on the AT there's like a Dollar General in every single town So it was nice to actually do some cheap resupply I got myself a milkshake from across the street at the Pine Shack Frosty and I'm sitting outside the laundromat doing some laundry. That's why I'm wearing my uh, rain jacket and these fancy wind pants, my uh, <laughs> laundry clothes. Waiting for my hotel room to open up. Um, I got in real early, check-in times not till later, so. Back on the trail after leaving uh, Chester a little bit late today. I had to do a bunch of stuff in town, um, sent myself a box a few days ahead. I sent some stuff to Snuggles that um, I resupplied a little bit too much, so I went ahead and sent some stuff to her. And I picked up my, uh, my new shirt, which is, uh, you know, pretty snazzy. It's like the same shirt as the other one that I had, except for it has plaid on it. So I look a little bit fancier on the trail. I just stopped back there at a little national park campsite and had myself a tortilla with some avocado and jalapeno Cheetos, which are amazing. Um, fueled up a little bit and still have quite a bit to go for the night. Um, my plan is to try to get out of Tulasan. Um, if not, if it gets too late, we'll see what happens. Um, but the plan is to, to get out. I have kind of one more big climb, and after that the terrain gets pretty smooth. But odds are that I'm going to be hiking uh, in the dark tonight. So it is what it is. I'll sleep in in the morning. So far today's been pretty, pretty good. Really beautiful, nice terrain. Off to a pretty late start this morning. I ended up not getting into camp last night until about mm, 10.30. So I pretty much just set up my tent, ate food, and passed out. And this morning I ended up sleeping in until about 8.30, which is uh, definitely the latest that I have ever slept on a trail. <laughs> It is about lunchtime for me, so I decided to take this little side trail. It's like point two side trail to check out something called the Subway Cave. Well, I decided to go ahead and take a lunch in here because it's like 40 degrees uh, colder than up there. It feels like a refrigerator in here, which is absolutely awesome. So I got some pretty awesome trail magic back there. Uh, somebody left a cooler. Thank you so much to whoever left that. 
my plan was to stop actually right there around that spot, um, funny enough, because that was about the end of the day for me. However, there is nothing around here to camp at. Uh, all of this is flat, but it's all filled with grass and huge rocks just everywhere. So I'm having a really hard time finding a spot to camp or a spot that I can just really even cowboy camp. Um, just nothing but these huge pieces of volcanic rock everywhere. It's wild. Um, and then tons of grass, as you can see. And I'm just not a big fan of uh, camping and stuff like that. So I loaded up on water back there at that trail magic because someone also put a huge water cache there. Again, thanks so much for that. So the plan is just to keep cruising until I find something. Pretty decent sleep last night. Oh, still really tired. But you know, there's hiking to do. Some coffee. The plan today is to get to Bernie, Bernie Falls Resort, Bernie Resort, something. That's where I sent myself another box. Resupply. So pick up some food there and then should have like a four day stretch, maybe less, from there to um, Dunsmere or Castella or Shasta. Um, all those places are like right next to each other. Good thing though, because I'm meeting Snuggles there. And I haven't seen Snuggles in a while, so that'll be nice. It's really cool just to kind of be hiking up on this rim and seeing Lassen over here and then uh, Mount Shasta over there. Shasta, Shasta. Depends on where you're from. I know that's a big debate. <laughs> I'll call it Shasta. But uh, yeah, just amazing view. Look at that. Shasta's there in the distance. We come back over this way. Lassen is back here in the distance. Pretty amazing. So there hasn't been any water in about 22 miles. Like an idiot, I didn't read the water report, so I didn't know that. So it's been a while since I've had some water. About uh six miles now. Well, today ended on a completely different note than what I thought it was going to end. Um, it's pretty insanely hard hiking. Really, really hot. Uh, hiking over nothing but lava rock all day. Had a big dry section where there was like no water and I finally found some water. Like after six miles of having no water. Which is always kind of scary. Um, and then I actually planned on, right at 22 miles from me, uh, popping into where I'm currently at, which is the Bernie Mountain uh, Resort, and picking up a box that I had sent myself to resupply. And then I was going to hike probably another 8 miles and make it a 30 mile day. And you know what? Halfway through the day, I just started thinking about how I was kind of pushing myself, and when I got here, it was really, really inviting. So I decided to stay the night. This place is just amazing, absolutely amazing. They have a little resupply store that has all kinds of food in it that you can actually resupply with, everything that hikers want or need. Um, lots of cold drinks, ice cream, uh, snacks, all kinds of great stuff. Off and rolling this morning. Had such an amazing stay last night at Bernie Mountain Resort. I cannot talk any more highly of that place. Um, if you're hiking the PCT, if you're just doing a section, if you're out for the weekend, um, you gotta stop by that place. 
Linda was amazing. Such great hospitality, great food, awesome little resupply store. Um, it's just so relaxing and inviting there. So glad that I stopped early yesterday. Didn't pass it up. It's already starting to get pretty warm outside and I'm already in a pretty exposed area. Looks like a big burn area. Should be going through Bernie Falls State Park. And apparently there's supposed to be a big waterfall. I don't know how far off the trail it is, but I might go check that out. And uh, yeah, I definitely feel refreshed today. Today ended up being, I think, one of the best days I've had on trail in quite some time. Every day on the trail is great, but it doesn't mean that every day you have a great day. Um, some days you just, the body is wore out. Some days I'm insanely hungry. Some days I'm insanely dehydrated like yesterday. Um, some days I'm in a good mood. Some days I'm in a bad mood, happy, sad. So there's always something, you know, that, that makes the, the hike challenging. But today was pretty smooth. So I'm going to finish this good day with hopefully, hopefully, a good night's rest. It's only about 9 o'clock and I've been cruising for quite some time. Uh, I've already put down like 8 miles this morning. But I'm just wore out. I feel like I never woke up this morning. Like I'm just so tired. So uh decided to take a little sit down. I think I want to drink some emergency. Try to get some vitamins. Give me a little uh, boost. But yeah, just so tired today. Just feel like I could just lay down right here and just take a nap. But it's only nine o'clock and I really don't want to do that yet. So get something in me and see how I feel. So today I'm gonna do a little bit shorter of a day than yesterday. I'm not gonna go too much further. Uh, probably stop like around 25, 26, which is by no means a short day, but shorter than yesterday. And then I'll just have tomorrow and full day hiking tomorrow and then Shasta and Snuggles. So looking forward to that. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my shoes. I only have like 400 miles on this pair, but man, they are just destroyed. Like, totally ripped up. Soles coming off of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. These just broke down a lot faster than any other Ultra I think I've ever hiked in. So, that's the plan. Water sources have been pretty good today. That also means that, uh, Mosquitoes have also been pretty good today. All right, so here's the deal. I ended up getting to about 25 miles yesterday and uh, for some reason, I still had a bunch of energy, still had a bunch of gas left in the tank. So I decided to keep cruising and hiked uh, about another six miles, five-ish, five-ish miles.
and end up being a 30 point something day. Um, so where that put me was today, I was just planning on doing 25, and that means I would only be five miles away from Shasta, uh, Dunsmuir, all of those towns. And I got thinking, like, stopping just five miles before town and camping, I really don't want to do that. It's only five miles. So the plan is to go ahead and just hike all 30 into town. Now that puts me at like three really big days back to back to back, but um, it gets me in town a day early and instead of just taking a Nero in tomorrow, if I go in tonight, I can take a zero tomorrow, which I think is worth it. Well, it's about four o'clock and I've already hiked um, 27 miles for the day, which is nuts. I don't know if it is my deep, deep desire to get into town and eat pizza and drink beer, or <laughs> if it is my desire to see my wife because she's meeting me here in town. Uh, I stopped a little bit back about around one o'clock, had some lunch, and that was at 20 miles, so 20 miles like right before one. And then the rest of the day has just been really nice and cruisy. 